Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how we can produce a 360 photo in 3D Studio Max and V-Ray in order to make a virtual tour. The process is fairly simple and I'm sure you will love the final result. Go to your 3D Studio Max file. I usually place my camera at the center of the room, so I will select this camera push it to the center, let's say somewhere here. Don't worry that you basically can't see your bedroom. In the virtual tour you will be able to scroll around and see the whole room. Once you have set the camera, go to the rendering settings and more specifically, rendering, render setup. Go to the V-Ray tab. Go to the camera rollout and at the type field select spherical. Enable override field of view and type 360 instead of 45. Moreover, and it's very important, <coughs> we need to go to the common tab to adjust the resolution. Go to the output size where we need to set a ratio of 2 and enable the lock. I usually set the resolution to 8000 pixels width. If I'm in a hurry, I will set it to 6K, but in the software I use it might look blurry with 6000 pixels width. When you hit the render button, the render will look like this. And that's the final result we get for this scene. Now, we have produced the 360 panorama photo, now we need to use a software to review it. I personally use 3D Vista, which is a rather expensive software if you don't produce virtual tours on a regular basis. In 3D Vista, I create a new project and then add my panorama. A standard panorama and select my 360 photo. Now I can hit the preview button And here it is. It rotates automatically, but you can take control of the navigation using your cursor. Apart from 3D Vista, there are free softwares that you can use like Kula or RoundMe. That's all with the 360 tours. Can't wait for you to share with me your result. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful and to subscribe. I will see you all in my next video.